Creating levels in Unity can be hard, especially if you don't have an array of art skills at your disposal. Basic colour schemes and 3D assets can help you along your way to create gorgeous levels for your game that attract attention and clicks on social media. As you may know from previous episodes, I'm currently in the process of redeveloping the game for relaunch. A fundamental part of this is redesigning the levels to fit the new style of the game. Each level needs to invoke emotions in the player and make them want to play on. Why is this important? Because Steam allows people to return the game if they have played less than two hours of it. This means that shorter games usually have higher chargeback rates. No matter what I'm designing, I always start from a reference photo and then use Adobe Color to make the hexadecimal values from the image to put into my game. I start by using Bing AI Image Generator, giving it a prompt to create an image of the world I want to make. I then refine my prompt until I have an image that accurately represents what I want to create in the game. I really recommend that you do this if you're unable to afford professional concept art or lack the creative juices to think of level design on your own. In order to achieve this low poly look on the terrain, I use a shader from GitHub, which I'll link in the description below. The only disadvantage of using the shader instead of a code solution is the fact that you can only apply one material to the terrain at a time, but I personally do not mind this. If you're still watching at this point, thank you. I'm about to get onto music and sound design, but before, please smash that like button and press subscribe to help us grow this channel as a community. Another tip is to ensure that when placing trees, rocks and other vegetation, remember to place them in small individual groups and not to plaster them across the map. Another tip is to always have post-processing in your scene. It's super simple to do and without it, your games will look poor quality and like one of those Steam simulation game asset flips. Don't fall into the trap of only paying attention to the visual stuff. Never underestimate the difference that high quality and unique music can have on your indie game. If your budget is low, go onto Fiverr and grab a freelance sound designer or composer for a lower price. I'd also recommend that you invest in a voice actor to narrate your game. Lucky for me though, my brother is an Oxford University music student, so I could get a beautiful soundtrack for free. So there you have it, a full rundown of how I design beautiful stylized maps for my video games. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and hit subscribe to see more content. See you in the next episode.